Well, this is Trep Tower Park. It's a memorial for all the uh, Russian soldiers that died in the Battle of Berlin. Some 25,000, but the, the, the memorial here is for 7,000 of them. On the way up, you've got these, there's about 20, I suppose, of these reliefs on either side. And every one of them's different. It's a different thing on the other side of them. <laughs> Picked in different bits of Russian life or Russian warfare. Then you got the, the main monument up there. That's the entrance back down there. This side the attack with the stick grenades. And the other side the charge with machine guns. Yeah, I don't somehow think the people of Berlin welcomed the uh, the Red Army like that somehow after the atrocities what they were doing, especially to the women. I don't mean they were going around giving them a bunch of flowers. This is the main monument of a it's a Russian soldier rescuing a child and he's got a great big sword there and he's actually cutting into a swastika which you can just make out at the bottom of it. I just noticed on the front of these, there's a every one of them's got a different inscription by Stalin. I think that one's basically saying from Odessa, Sebastopol, Leningrad, Stalingrad, we came and we beat them, and the bottom bit is the Great Red Army. Oh, Vladimir's shaking his fist there at that plane, he ain't happy about that one. It's funny because there's not a single bit of graffiti or vandalism here. You think even with the big ambers and sick walls, you, you could think that someone would come over and throw some paint over it. Not a thing. There's no cameras here from what I can see either. It just goes to show because if, if this was the other way around and this was a graveyard for German troops, I bet you it'd be covered in crap. Famous checkpoint, Charlie. <laughs>
famous Olympic Stadium in Berlin. Probably most famous for being the venue of the 1936 Olympics, which, as we all know, Jesse Owens won the race, but, which most people don't know, Germany actually won the Olympics that year, and quite convincingly. So, basically, the comparison of the narrative that you're fed is, if, say, Bayern Munich lost one game to Lokomotiv Leipzig in the whole of the season, even if Bayern Munich won the league convincingly, Lokomotiv Leipzig are the best team. That's how this logic works. This is the Russian War Memorial in uh, Tiet Garden, just up from the Brandenburg Gate. It's flanked by artillery and a, an old Soviet tank on either side. So this is the actual site where the actual Führer bunker was. Basically this old car park.
Topography of Terror. There's a massive big building there, all full of uh, picture boards. You've got more down here, going all the way along. It's got from Berlin, 33 to 45. And then at the back, there's a section of the Berlin Wall. Although there's no mention whatsoever about the communist terror or what the Russians did. The terror is purely against what the Germans did. There's not even a mention whatsoever about the murder, the rapes that the Red Army committed after the fall of Berlin. This is called the Marx and Engels Forum. When you go around the back, look what they're looking onto. The most globalist, capitalist thing you can think of, the big TV tower. How's that for you, comrade? Beeble Platz, where the books were burnt in May 1933. I think there's a library in the distance there, that's a university, so I'm assuming the, uh, a lot of the books were pulled straight out of the shelves of them places. Anything that was viewed dissident or degenerate. Lovely ironwork work on this bridge. This is one massive, beautiful building. But as always, with the church, you've got to pay to get in. After all the money that they've taken off people over the years, all the blood, sweat and tears that went into making this, and had the audacity to charge you. Yeah. Even the church not accepting cash now. Makes you wonder how they're gonna pay all them altar boys off for to keep their silence. Surely not with bank transfers. The right stag, and there's always building work going on wherever you go. Equally, building work with no one actually doing any building work.